Hi, welcome to Conquering Comma Lesson 2, Dates and Addresses. Today we're going to learn what is really a fairly straightforward rule with only a few things that might trip you up. First, we're going to review rule number one, go over the date rule, then the address rule, then talk a little bit about the forgotten comma, the one comma that a lot of people mess up when they're doing dates and addresses, and at the end, we'll have a little review. Do you remember rule number one? It's the series rule. Just remember to put a comma between every item in a series. To be super correct, put in that Oxford comma before the final coordinating conjunction, like and or or, if you use one. Here's the date rule. You put a comma between every part of a date. It's pretty straightforward. There's the day of the week, the month and day of the month, which always go together and don't have a comma between them. May 23rd, for instance, you would never put a comma between the May and the 23. And then lastly, you have the year. Here's our first example of the date rule. Thomas Jefferson was born on Tuesday, comma, April 13, comma, 1743. You will notice that there is a comma after the particular day of the week, a comma after the date in the month, and then we have the year 1743. Don't ever put a comma between the month itself and the date. You would never see a comma between April and 13. The address rule is just like the date rule. You put a comma between every part of the date, except, of course, before the zip code. So you have a street address, city, state, and then the zip code at the end, which doesn't have a comma before it. Here we have an example of the address rule in action at one of my favorite places in the world, Wrigley Field. Wrigley Field is located at 1060 West Addison Street, comma, Chicago, comma, Illinois, no comma, 60613. You'll notice that I also used the two-letter abbreviation for the state. Um, when in doubt, you can look that up. It's not that confusing, and it's fairly intuitive, except with the M's, where it gets a little more challenging sometimes. Here's one important thing to remember. If an address appears on separate lines, like it would on an envelope or in a formal letter, you don't put commas after each part. The new line actually acts like a comma. Here's an example on a letter, an imaginary letter, from uh, F. Scott Fitzgerald to his future bride, Miss Zelda Sayer. If you look closely at this, um, you will see that the only comma that appears in the address is actually between the city and the state. There are no other commas when you are doing a more formal address like you would on an envelope or in a letter. This is an example of my literary crush on Mr. F. Scott Fitzgerald because, of course, I looked up these addresses, and yes, these were the actual addresses. Okay, there's one tricky part with addresses and dates. There's always got to be one tricky part, and this is what it is. Um, if a date or an address appears at the beginning or the middle of a sentence, it must be separated from the rest of the sentence with a comma to kind of say, whoa, here, wait a minute, I have this address or I have this date, and now I'm moving on to the rest of the sentence. I'll show you an example. Thursday, comma, February 14, comma, 1946, comma, is an important day for my grandmother because that's the day my grandfather asked her to marry him. The key here is to notice that comma after 1946. Here's how it works with addresses. We moved from 240 East Main Street, comma, Nashua, comma, New Hampshire, no comma, 04560, comma, on November 16th, comma, 2002. Yeah, I had to throw a date in there too, just to make it more interesting. Here's a quick review of lesson two. You want to use commas to separate parts of a date. Be sure to use commas to separate parts of an address. Don't put one before that zip code though. And if a date or an address is the beginning or in the middle of a sentence, be sure to put a comma after the last part. You're a little bit closer to conquering commas. Thanks for listening to lesson two.